if you see this upper lip tie, you're going to see lack of forward growth. And the upper lip tie, from the developmental standpoint, is the absolute worst one to have, in my opinion. You know, most people, when they bite, you know, their lower teeth have to bite behind their upper teeth. Most growth is driven by the tongue, okay? You know, when you're young, your tongue's like pushing, extending, it's spreading out, and that pressure is actually the primary driver of the growth of the face. And it grows the maxilla first, you know, forward and wider. And then the, as the maxilla comes out, the lower teeth, in order to make occlusion, have to actually reach out. So you'll get a forward movement of the lower jaw. So imagine if you have this upper lift tie that's sort of restricting that whatever expansion they're getting naturally from their tongue, nothing's going forward. So everything is staying back. So the quickest pathway to have all your patients have reverse jaw structure and their tongues down, shoved down their throat for the rest of their life is just go ahead and don't diagnose the upper lip tie. It's like the worst mistake you can make um, from a structural standpoint, at least, and a developmental standpoint. Um, have you ever seen patients where, you know, their maxilla is growing out pretty nicely and then they get a bite and they have a deep bite. It's like, well, why didn't the mandible move forward? Now I've already told you how the, what the pattern of growth is. The upper jaw grew out. Why didn't the lower jaw grow out? The most common reason is a lower lip tie. The lower lip tie will really protrude the mandible. It really bunches in nice and tight with the mentalis muscle. And if you ask your patients to like try to bring their mandible forward, with, with, with a lower lift tie, they're gonna have a lot of trouble like doing that. So no surprise when you see the presentation of, you know, retronathia. And, and that's like, 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 I can tell you like the sky is blue that almost every patient I've seen where they have a, man, a maxilla that's ahead of the mandible, I'm just like, I already know there's gonna be a lower lift tie there. I don't even have to like check that. But every time I go in there, it's right there because what the hell else would it cause that? So, you know, and that's what I really wanted to go with you guys because it's like so common sense. I see it every time. It's like, see this, you see this pattern of underdevelopment. Um, now, the buckle ties, since you brought that up, so the buckle ties are really going to pull the cheeks in tight. So what underdevelopment do you think we're going to see with that? Lack of transverse growth. You know, when you see like reclined teeth and you see poor you know, transverse like dimension, you know, almost every time you're gonna go in there and see some like, like, like che tight cheek ties. And if you don't see the tight, che tight cheek ties or buckle ties or whatever you wanna call them, you're probably gonna see a tongue that maintains really low posture that never got up to like expand the maxilla. And if the maxilla doesn't expand wider, well, guess what the mandible's not gonna do? Well, the mandible's not gonna grow wider either because it's trapped by the confines of like the maxilla.